Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take uh, a trail from Dalhousie's train station to Shoulders Park. This is a different way to go. Right now we're crossing the uh, at the station. It goes across uh, Crow Child. It's uh, the easiest way to cross on bicycles. To the left there is a walking path, but it is very very narrow and uh, it's, eh, it doesn't feel very safe. So we're going to take a hard left off if uh, off the corner here. If you went right, you'd end up in Silver Springs. We'll just follow down, then we'll take a right. And this is all shared path, so you keep uh, keep on your side and uh, keep your speed down. This part of the path is a little bit older, so it's a little bit rough. So I'm not sure where the left lane goes. It probably heads south. But we're going to go to the right and we're going to go through what is called Varsity Park. Uh, this is a beautiful little park. Um, there's not a whole bunch of uh, sitting areas in here. So uh, they're mostly used by uh, walkers and dog walkers, that kind of thing. Um, but it is a beautiful little park. The trail is in good shape. The people are friendly. Uh, in the summertime, it'd be, it's nice and cool because there is some shade there. I have not sped up this video because it's a little bit shorter, so you might be able to see some more of the details. Like I said, this is a this is a superb little path uh, through Bar Varsity Park. Branches off there. I'm not sure where those go. I might explore them on a later time. We're just taking the direct route to uh, south. I always give uh, pedestrians right away and give them a little ding far back so that they know you're there, so they don't step into the left lane. It's all about safety. Don't want to hurt anybody. Don't want to get hurt. Park is well maintained. There is benches that you can sit. Uh, I haven't seen any um, uh, picnic tables or anything like that, but there is place, a few places to sit. If all else fails, you can always sit on the grass and it's well maintained. It's nice and long and lush. One dog walker. People come here to train their dogs and walk their dogs. There's another dog walker training her puppy. So you're kind of down in the valley on this one. So uh, uh, if there's any wind blowing, it uh, it's cut back quite a bit in, in this case. So this is 53rd Avenue to the right. You go to Silver Spring to the left. You're heading towards uh, Market Mall. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications. Helps me out and helps you out if you need to know about trails and stuff like that. I intend to do as many trails in the Northwest as I can this summer. Uh, I'm on an e-bike, so my range is limited sometimes. So I may not get very many down south, but I'll try to get down there as best I can. So there is a um, bike path both sides, but we're turning left, so I just stayed on the sidewalk. There's not a whole bunch of traffic in here. Stop and go across the path. We're going to do a little drop off at uh, Market Mall. We want to get a, a pretzel. Have to get a pretzel. So if you're coming from the northwest and you want to go Market Mall, you can follow this road and it'll get you there. This whole section of the city is very, very well maintained. Older houses, uh, there is some infills, but uh, most of the houses are well established. They're uh, maintained very good. Straight ahead of us is a trail, and that goes uh, 
straight down the hill to home road uh kind of avoid that one because home road is very very steep but that little pathway that little park there it's a nice little uh it's a nice little adventure uh paths are nice not very many people on it at least this time this time of day yeah so you head to the right and down and you'll uh, end up at uh uh in uh Bowness. so we're cutting left because we're going to go over to uh, market mall have a little short stop over there Not a tremendous amount of traffic today. And we're cheating, we're on the sidewalk, yes. Because we're on the sidewalks, we really need to give the pedestrians the, the right of way. So if you see a pedestrian come and get off the road and or get off the path and let them through. Well treed, there's lots of shade, uh, lots of areas that you can actually probably park in the shade if you had to stop for a little rest or drink of water or something like that. And ahead of us is uh, Market Mall. So we're going to go to the right and then uh, cut into the mall at the theater. Never been to Market Mall. It's uh, got just about everything you need in there, including an Apple store if you're an Apple person. Got a bunch of sports stores. They've got a brand new theater. The Landmark Theater here is, uh, is really, really nice. Good shape, good service. Got to do a little zigzag around the bus uh, bus stop. Could be a little treacherous if there was a bunch of people waiting for a bus. Okay, off to the left there, you can see Landmark Theater. Like I said, it's got good reviews, and I give it good reviews. Thumbs up. I've never had any trouble there. Good service. The movies are on time. The place is clean. The snacks are good. Okay, if you went right the way that car did, uh, you'd end up on home road. And unfortunately, people in the mall, uh, drivers, uh, they seem not to see bike bicycles very much. I guess they're intent on their shopping or intent on getting home. Sport check in front of us. The mall's got a downtown or downstairs parking, so uh, it's a nice, cool spot in the summertime. So we're mixed in with vehicles right now, so we're got to keep our eyes on a swi or head on a swivel. All right, we're coming to a parking spot here. So just a short little spot here, and we're going to head out. We're done with our stop, heading back out. We're going to head south. Can be a long light. Okay, up the hill, 
round the corner. It's hard to keep your momentum up on this one, so. And we're just going to follow the path. And here you've got a whole choice of which way you can go. Uh, we're going to go left. If you went right, you'd end up into uh, uh, into some of the suburbs and areas. Um, and eventually end up down at Home Road. So we're going to just take some zigzags to get through this uh, the housing area to here. Older homes, nicely maintained. Okay, so the path ends and we're going to be on the roadway. I believe if you go straight ahead, you end up going straight down to Angels right on the riverbank uh, if you want to take the fast direct route, but it is a fairly steep uh, steep road. We're going to do a little zigzagging, uh, slaloming, slaloming, I'm going to call it. Looks like there's quite a bit of renovations and, and uh, maintenance being done here. I haven't seen a whole bunch of construction on uh, on newer homes, but I think we get into that. So we're going to hang a left. And straight ahead of us is uh, the other side of the river, up the hill, Shaganapi area. Smoky today, so... Right will get you where you want to go. Left will also get you where you want to go. We're going to come down to the first uh, intersection and turn left. Down a block, turn left again. Watch for cars. Hang left. I'm going to go down a block or so. There's countless different uh, ways you could go down up here, uh, you know, just following the intersection, following the road. Might help to have GPS. Infills. And they've got road construction as well. So we're going to hang a right. I'm going to go down to the bottom, hang a left. Right would probably get you there as well. Like I said, hit the uh, hit the like and the subscription uh, and subscribe button, notifications. You're welcome to leave a comment if you want. I'll, I'll answer your comments uh, as best I can. Just watch for cross traffic. Uh, I don't know if they expect to see uh, bikes or not. This is the bottom end of Home Road. Go left and you'd end up at the uh, Montgomery uh, Safeway. I'm going to just take a little extra road. Home uh, home road is uh, pretty difficult to go up. Uh, 
keep your momentum. There's a lot of traffic on there, so we try to try to avoid that wherever we can. Getting back on the road, being legal. <clears throat> onto the bike path and straight ahead of us is Shoulders Park we'll take a little part through there for some reason people uh, uh, in cars don't see bikers very much so um, be careful. Sometimes they're not watching, they're not paying attention. It's nice having a segregated uh, bike path, at least then you're, you have, you have a little less chance of getting hit by a car. If you go right, you end up, uh, you can go to show, um, Bonas or Bonas Park that way. Shoulders Aquatic Center right in front of us. It's closed down right now. I, they're doing some maintenance on it. So I think it's closed down until September. I read the sign. So there's a lot of sporting activity through here. Uh, a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, practicing. There's day camps, there's soccer camps, there's baseball camps. Um, and to the right there is a... Uh, a neat little park for the kids. It's uh, very unique. Uh, there's lots of things on there that most of the other parks in the city don't have. Washroom right here. Open from uh, June 1st until September 1st. Little stop off. And away we go. So Shoulders Park is a nice little park, um, well treed. Uh, you can reserve uh, some of the picnic areas. They have tennis courts, they have basketball court. There's washrooms, uh, access to the river. And we're gonna park and uh, slake our thirst, as you can say, as, as I would say. Anyhow, thanks for being on the journey with me. Uh, I'm gonna be signing off, like I said. Like, subscribe, notifications, please. Have a great day, and thank you for being on my channel.